let's go to our named folder, go to open up that index page, and I'm going to show you how to add videos. And your webmasters can set up as many of these fun widgets for you as they wish. Click on edit on your homepage so you can see a little editing tools. And let's add over in the bottom left hand side, you'll see underneath that uh, sub nav, you'll see a little plus hand to the left hand side. We haven't added content here yet. So click widget this time instead of content. And then we're going to do form and then we're pretty much done. So add widget, and then the type of widget that I want you to add, please select. Now let me, if you lost me, let me go back on your page, click this little plus sign on the left-hand side, go to widget, right? You see in my screen? Mm -hmm. And then here under content type, we are going to select YouTube. No, widget, and then YouTube. And once you select YouTube, go ahead and select this one here, although you could add new, um, or you can select this one, Amazon Echo Part 1. So I'm going to select that one, and now I got a .cms video on how to create websites that speak with Alexa. And that's a real, that's a real university that's actually doing that right now and has been for years. Um, so they can say, Alexa, what's on the menu today at Gettysburg? you know, university and it'll tell exactly, you know, it'll say, which cafeteria would you like to choose? And then you say, ah, I'd like to go to this cafeteria. And then it'll probably say, um, uh, <laughs> I didn't understand what you're saying. <laughs> that's what, that's all it does. Is, <laughs> would you like to go to the moon? No, I, I want to know what it's for lunch. <laughs> uh, I don't have any luck with those things at all. I'm impatient, but, um, then you, you click on it and it loads the video. Okay. Now, you also get that cool functionality that if I want to click on the little equal sign and I want to drag that movie over here, it's going to show that movie in the full screen, you know, uh, matching that container because both of those containers do allow that movie. But I think that's way too big, so I'm going to drag it right back into my little guy and leave that over here. Uh, you don't have to do this. I'm just going to show it, and then we're moving right on because that's how to use widgets. If they allow you to use widgets, then you'll either add a new one or you'll um, select one existing. They don't. The webmaster does not have to give you the ability to add new YouTube videos. Uh, widget is something that it, dynamic code is inside of it necessarily. That's what you know how it's predefined, and it automatically does things like. Whenever I click on a YouTube widget or a news listing widget or anything, it's going to allow me to, in almost all of the cases, do a no-code dynamic thing. The rest of the content we're placing like a movie, it's just putting one movie, we type in the fields. This is a no-code dynamic pull of whatever we want from outside .cms or from inside .cms. So if I did news listing, I would be pulling from inside of .cms. If I click on YouTube, I'm going to search for YouTube for one of my videos. I'm going to search for that inbound marketing video on YouTube and pull it right in here. So I'm going to say so uh, .cms inbound in Bound marketing. Click search. And it's going to find the rules and targeted personalization.cms. And here's the inbound marketing that's got my recipe video. So I just click on it. And it's smart enough not only to go to YouTube and pull down the video, but it also populates the length of the video, the author, the title of the video, the thumbnail, the publish date, and the YouTube URL. I could just click save and publish. I click here. And now down at the bottom of my page, I've got a YouTube video that's playing my inbound marketing.